Desmond here for Winners and Winners, trying to make you a better, better. Wow, that looks weird on my phone. Yeah, that's strange looking. Let me, oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the hostage video look here. I'm on the road this week teaching some law enforcement classes. So, you get the cheap hotel background. Isn't that exciting? Uh, got a little over-under number for you. Way too early in the NFL season. If anybody was following me last year, I loved the Lions. I love the Lions. They play with heart. Their coach is great. I'd love to see Jared Goff get another shot at the Super Bowl. I think he was kind of unfairly treated in L.A. I think he's more talented than people give him credit for. Did I mention I love the coach in Detroit? He's great. The Lions sort of overachieved last year, especially because they won that last game against the Packers. They went over their win total last year. And interestingly, their number hasn't changed that much in terms of over-under wins. I think they had a great draft. I think they've got the core of a really good team. They did strangely trade away a great running back, but they sort of, you know, filled that position back in the draft. But, man, I, I, I have my doubts about them getting to nine and a half. Let's just go through it. They open the season Thursday night football at the Kansas City Chiefs. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's tough. Opening night, Arrowhead. Yikes. I don't know if they're ready for that, so I'm going to give them a loss there. The Seahawks at the Lions. I'm going to pass this game for now. Falcons at Lions. I'm going to give them a win. Lions at Packers. I'm going to give them a win. They're, hey, they beat the Packers with Aaron Rodgers last year, last week of the season. They have all the confidence in the world that they can go do this again. And we got to see how Jordan Love's going to be early in the season. Then they get the Panthers at home. The Panthers, they are got a rookie quarterback. No, they're not going to beat the Lions in Detroit. Then they go to the Buccaneers. That's a win. Easy. The Buccaneers are going to suck out loud. Then they go to the Ravens. I'm going to hang a loss on them there. And then the team that everybody's going to beat comes to Detroit. Uh, the Raiders, they're going to get a win there. And then they go to the Chargers. Now, keep in mind. What is the weakness of this Detroit team? It's the defense. They can score lots of points, but they give up lots of points. And they really didn't do that much to address it. So the Chargers in at La La Land are going to beat them. Bears at Lions, I'm going to give them a win. Packers at Lions, I'm going to give them a loss later in the season there. Lions at Saints, I love the Saints. I love them this year. I think they're going to be great. They get a loss at Saints. Lions at Bears are going to lose in Chicago on a bad weather night. Broncos at Lions, who's not going to beat them. That's a win. Lions at Vikings, loss. Because it's in Minnesota. And the Vikings are going to be sneaky good. If they can afford to let Dalvin Cook go, they got stuff going on. They got the best quarter, I'm sorry, they got the best receiver in the NFL. They got a decent defense. They got a good offensive line, strong receiving core. They're going to be fine. Now, what it comes down to is this. Right now, I have the Lions with seven wins and seven losses. And I left three games out. Seahawks at Lions week two. At Cowboys week 16. Vikings week 17. They're in. The, the Vikings are at Detroit week 17. I think they could easily lose two of those games. I could see them losing at the Cowboys. I could see them losing to the Seahawks, who are going to be very good. And then that last game against the Vikings, they had some magic in their final game last year at Green Bay. I think they could very well have the reverse happen this year. I think they get to nine wins and fall just short. They're going to lose by the hook. They're going to be nine and eight. Probably a wild card team because you know what? I think the Chicago Bears just may win that division. Call me crazy. No, they could also win the division at nine and eight. All could happen. The Vikings are going to be much better. Look, the Lions, I love them. They're great. They're not there yet. I'm going to hang nine wins on them. They're going to miss the over by the hook, take the under with the Lions over under season total.
Lotto's been here to try to make you a better better at winners and winners. 